good day everyone and welcome to the general parents orientation of Dr. Wanjin Lasko High School in the new normal school year 2020-2021. To start, let us meet the people who are leading us to this new normal in education. Dr. Roland L. De La Cruz, School Head. Mrs. Melinda G. Mariano, Head Teacher 6, Filipino, Curriculum Chair of Grade 8. Mr. Ambrosia B. Agustin, Head Teacher 6, English, Curriculum Chair of Grade 7. Dr. Chuchi Arrocero, Head Teacher 6, Mathematics. Mrs. Helen Rose A. Ferranculio, Head Teacher 6, Science, Curriculum Chair of Grade 10. Mr. Hervasio E. Estevez, Head Teacher 6, Araling Panlipunan, Curriculum Chair of Grade 9. Mrs. Josephine T. Abitria, Head Teacher 6, TLE, HE Department. Mr. Mario M. Monchel, Head Teacher 3, Malpe and OIC of the ESP Department. Mr. Jamon E. Guazon, Master Teacher 2 and OIC, TLE, VOC Department. And Mr. James C. Recente, Administrative Officer 4. Online Learning Policies. These are the things that students have to remember when participating in their online classes. 1. Find a quiet and comfortable place in your house to study. 2. Wear appropriate clothing. 3. Turn on your cameras from time to time so your teachers can monitor your participation in the class. 4. Turn off your microphones when it is not your turn to speak. Turn it on when your teachers ask you to answer some questions. 5. Respect your teachers and classmates when sharing your opinions. 6. Stay focused and disciplined. Do not go to other websites nor do other activities while attending your online classes. 7. Participate actively in the discussion. 8. Submit your outputs and requirements on time. 9. Always check your group chats for the announcements from your class advisors and subject teachers. Online Schedule To help us transition to the new normal in education, students will have asynchronous and synchronous learning. Asynchronous learning is learning that doesn't happen at the same time for the teacher and the learners. The materials for learning are already made available for consumption, while synchronous learning refers to a learning event happening at the same time between the teacher and students. All subjects are given 20 to 30 minutes for one day every week to have their synchronous classes, and the remaining days are allotted for their asynchronous learning. Each day, students will only have two synchronous classes for two different subjects, one in the morning and one in the afternoon. Monday morning, Filipino. Monday afternoon, Mathematics. Tuesday morning, T-H-E, T-L-E. Tuesday afternoon, Science. Wednesday morning, MAPE. Wednesday afternoon, ESP. Thursday morning, English. Thursday afternoon, Araling Panlipunan. Fridays are allotted for the completion of worksheets, supplementary materials, and submission of outputs. Saturday is for remedial and enrichment. Frequently Asked Questions Question number one. Will my child get a tablet from the school? Answer. Your child will get a tablet from the school given that he or she provided accurate information when he or she enrolled online and if he or she doesn't have a younger sibling in a public school and if he or she is in the list. Question number two. Will the SIM card have data allocation? Answer. The SIM card will have a monthly allocation of 10 gigabytes of data strictly to be used for synchronous classes only. Once you exceed before the new allocation comes, you have to provide your own data to attend the classes. Question number three. My child will only have two classes per day. Does it mean that they will have a lot of free time? Answer. For the hours that they don't have synchronous classes, 
they have to answer or do the modules, worksheets, or activities that they have to submit every Friday. This is their asynchronous learning for the rest of the week. Question number four. Will each student get a SIM card? Answer. It depends on the availability of the SIM card. Question number five. How are we going to submit our modules every week? For health reasons, submission of modules and activities is done online. Any means online depending on the class advisors and subject teachers.